Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Josh Chagoda. Today I want to show you a quick little rehab exercise that you can do for your posterior delts, your shoulders, your scapula, and to lock those things better into place. Now, we've seen a lot of people with a band or kind of some sort of elastic band, and we, do all, we always do kind of this with keeping our arms back. But what I want you to do is slowly eccentrically load that but what we're gonna so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start like this in this position we're going to extend but a lot of people just kind of let it come through we want to just hold it here isometrically contract hold and then slowly let it go back but don't all, go all the way out to here a lot of people make that mistake of coming out and then coming back okay coming out and then coming back hold it in this position fire your back muscles contract your scapula and then and don't and, and a lot of people also do this they stick out like this don't do that try to keep your pelvis down and in this good contracted position okay so what we'll do is we'll come here we'll hold it and then slowly come back and then refire and so we want to keep those muscles engaged a little bit more now, a lot of times what will happen is our shoulders will start to round a little bit more. This is exactly what we don't want. We want them to lock into place. So in order to lock them into place, what we, do, we need to do is add some external rotation. So what we can do is grab instead of thumbs or palms facing down, we can grab palms facing up. And then what we want to do is roll them back. Kind of like, I'm exaggerating, but roll back. So we'll come here, we can go palms up, hold, and roll back. And externally rotate. What you really wanna do at the end range of motion is really over exaggerate your palms facing the ceiling and if you can face them a little bit further off like this direction. So it'll kinda of look like this from the side, coming in, extending, and then rotating, locking those shoulders into place. And so what you can do eventually, if you have a different type of band, you probably want a shorter band, uh, but I'm just showing this, like you can go like this, like that, coming in and rotating up. Come back, rotate up and hold and then slowly get the thumbs down don't go all the way back here as I said stay in that tension externally rotate up fire your core and what you don't see here is I'm actually bending my knees a little bit okay the reason I bend my knees is to keep that hip hinge we don't want to as I said before extend back like this and so we're, we're staying in this contracted position like this so come in, bend your knees a little bit, come in, externally rotate, lock it in, exaggerate, hold, and then slowly lower it. Don't go all the way back, come back. Oh man, this is a great exercise. You can really feel the, sh the shoulder and the rotator cuff working, and you can really feel the scapular muscles engaged, especially if those people who sit too long, uh, you need, a, you need a, just a very light band. This is a 10 pound resistance and I would say that this probably is too much if you're going to hold that position. So you could probably go something lower uh, and still be fine with this. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Josh Chagoda. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time.